I don't know any heavy band at the moment who does what Parkway do better. To be honest, I've never um, been hit as hard <laughs> by a record in a long time as, as I have with this. Like, it, it really struck a chord with me. Hi, this is Rollo from Boys It's Fire and I want to introduce you to another record that's coming out on September 25th. Not our own, but Parkway Drive's new record. And uh, Parkway Drive is one of those bands that I really admire for a number of reasons. A, they're having, you know, a positive message. They're much like me into sports, into nature, into traveling. So I feel a kinship with this band. But on top of that, they're amazing dudes and really believe in what they're doing. And let me tell you a little story. When I saw Parkway Drive live first, I was at a festival and one of the guys had broken his leg and played in a wheelchair. I'm not kidding you. He played in a wheelchair and I did see him fall over and continue playing. And I think that's what the band is all about. They just don't stop. Amazing record. Here are my three favorite tracks. So the first song that I came across from Parkway Drive Scene Record is a song called Vice Grip, which was also the very first video for the album. And the video itself is absolute killer. Brilliant idea to go skydiving on a video budget. What's not to love about skydiving in a video? And the song is absolutely amazing. It's a lot more melodic than what I've heard of the band thus far. And uh, the lead guitar work reminds me of one of my favorite bands from the past, which is Paradise Lost, which image-wise have nothing to do with Parkway Drive, but they have that great combination of heavy vocals and amazing melodic guitar work that I feel Parkway Drive do best at this day and age. So, Vice Grip, great video, great song, killer hook. Another standout track from the new Parkway Drive record is the first song, Destroyer, which sets the tone for the whole record, I think. And when you hear those destroy shouts in the beginning, it just really gets you in the mood for the whole record. It has that Parkway Drive groove, it, have, it has that heaviness, but also Vincent's meaningful lyrics, which I really enjoy because they're not cheesy and they're not about hobbits or demons or, it might be about demons, but inner demons, but you know what I'm saying. It's heavy music with a purpose. Rebels with a cause, if you will. So Destroyer, great first track, makes you want to hear it. Another song that really caught my attention was the song Fractures, which is the fifth track on the record. And it has a very unusual, almost electronic sounding intro and then goes into, uh, you know, your usual Parkway song that rips your head off. And again, the production is really fucking killer. A friend of ours produced the record, his name is George. Shout out to George. Great job. And um, as I stated before, the combination of super melodic, amazing guitar work and Winston's great lyrics and heavy vocals. Well done, and I don't know any heavy band at the moment who does what Parkway do better. So, Fractures, that will be my, my last pick of standout tracks, but the whole record's good, so check it out. So what's up? I'm Winston from Parkway Drive and for the next few minutes I'm going to be giving you my little review on a few tracks from the new Boy Sets Fire record which I've been lucky enough to hear before the release date which I can tell you is a big honour and privilege. Um, this record is absolutely phenomenal. Um, completely blown away by it to be honest. So um, yeah, I'll give you a couple of little insights into I guess what you can expect from it if you haven't heard this record yet. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna talk some crap. <laughs> I'll start
start with one match. Um, this track is an absolute punk rock banger. Like, I don't know, like, it, you know when you hear one of those songs and um, I guess from the first riff and the first chorus you know it's going to be a classic? Um, that's exactly what I felt with this song. Um, I was singing along to the chorus like literally the first time the chorus played through. Generally, if you're singing along by the third time the chorus hits, you know it's going to be catchy. This is far, far beyond that. And it's got the the heartfelt lyrics you come to expect from Boy Sets Fire. And at the same point in time, like, I just, like, I can't wait to hear this song live. Um, it's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it's It's got a really nice, upbeat feel to it, nice anthemic feel to it, the kind of song you really want to listen to when you're sitting in a car driving somewhere, to be honest. It actually reminds me for some reason of, of Gaslight Anthem, but at, at the same point in time, it just, like, it's, it's boy sets fire, straight up, so, yeah, that's it. Um, that track rolls straight into The Filth Is Rising, um, which is the second one I wanted to talk about. I kind of wanted to talk about these two in a row because this record um, is really varied when it comes to the sound and um, I, it's one of the things that I was really smashed by with this this record, like it's it's phenomenal the way that they've, they've managed to include these, um, these songs which are so uplifting and they soar so high and yet there's songs like The Filth Is Rising which is brutal, like it's... It's the kind of song that I expected to hear on like a Hope Con or a Converge record. Like the the breakdown at the end of this record, at the end of this song is like it could be something off an old Converge record. It's chaotic. It's just it sounds like it's been dragged through the mud. And the vocals like have this awesome rocky intensity to it, which just kind of degrades down to just nastiness at the end of it. And to come out of a song like uh, one match into this song. It's just complete polar opposites and yet it's the, it's the thing that makes this record really special. Like the whole time you kind of, you don't know what you're gonna get song after song, but it really takes you on a journey. There's no complacency on this record whatsoever. And um, this track definitely, I think, <laughs> is, is one of those ones like as soon as you get hit by one of these moments on the record, it, it kicks you straight in the teeth. You get lulled into this nice, I guess, euphoric sense of of, of happiness and empowerment and then it all of a sudden it's just like here comes a a hardcore track as hard as it can be so yeah well well done to them for crafting like the one-two punch in the way that they have with these two tracks back to back the last track i wanted to review was uh fall from grace um this track sits more towards the end of the record, and um, I'm not too good with this, like, I'd, I'd call this a ballad, um, just because I've got no real other way of describing things, but um, it's not, it's not like an acoustic or soft jam, it's, it's probably the most anthemic song on the entire record, and it's absolutely uplifting and empowering, and it, the, the hook and the chorus is just so fantastic in the way it's it's one of those things you just can't get out of your head straight away but at the same point in time the the lyrics for it uh it resonates so 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 deeply um and i think it's so fantastic that they've been able to craft um such a fantastic hook and such a such a chorus which you really want to sing along to but at the same time you're very conscious of what you're singing along to and that makes it all the more powerful um the before like rounding up this entire interview, the the vocals on this record are absolutely stunning, um, which you kind of come to expect with Boy Sets Fire. But the the music behind it, um, in no way is supporting and just sitting there by itself. Like the the musicianship that they've put into this record and crafting this entire album is um, quite breathtaking, to be honest. Um, the first record I ever listened to with Boy Sets Fire was um, After the Eulogy, and that record was absolutely fantastic and. Um, it really hit home the sincerity that they managed to put into their music and that's definitely not lost on this record. And to be honest, I've never um, been hit as hard 
<laughs> buy a record in a long time as, as I have with this. Like it, it really struck a chord with me. So hopefully it does with everyone else. And um, yeah, if you haven't been looking forward to this record, now's the time to get on board because I really can't wait to hear these long songs live. And um, yeah, <laughs> that's me talking crap about Voice Sets Fire. Thanks for giving me the opportunity. So um, thanks for giving me this record. Check it out. Cheers.